It's a solidarity move from the banking sector to a comrade in distress. $30 billion to First Republic Bank, courtesy of 11 Wall Street giants who fear the failure of Silicon Valley Bank could spread into a sector-wide crisis if investors and the public lose faith. The chairman and the CEO of First Republic penned a statement, calling the injection of liquidity a vote of confidence for First Republic and the entire U.S. banking system. Lack of liquidity was what forced SVB to quickly sell off assets at a loss, causing share prices to plummet and a run on the bank. And it's what the 11 institutions, Bank of America, Citigroup, J.P. Morgan Chase, among others, want to avoid. With a wealthy clientele, 70% of accounts were over $250,000. The limit for insured deposits, meaning a high risk customers might bolt. And loss of confidence in the sector is what banks and regulators fear the most. I can reassure the members of the committee that our banking system is sound and that Americans can feel confident that their deposits will be there when they need them. Despite the bank-to-bank -bank bailout of First Republic, shares still fell 17% in extended trading on Thursday.